Legends, welcome back. This is the latest edition of the Lit Ledger. Let's get lit. All right, we already know this droplet is constantly evolving thanks to the to Pyrus and the entire team. Now, we, are, we saw this the other day, the Swifty tree. Everything is branching off of Swifty. Swifty is the tree, it's the root, it's the foundation. Lit X, which is coming, Lit Station. Lit chain, lit estates, so lit, and this is for all of us to find out. But the, but just remember that Swifty is the tree, the roots, and the foundation, and everything else are just branches of it. Lit X, we can see the example here. It's in motion, and we know Lit X is a decentralized exchange with an automated market maker on the Binance Smart Chain. It's going to have some of the lowest fees on Binance. And we're going to have rewards from staking and yield farming that are going to be most, amongst the most lucrative in the entire Binance Smart Chain. That means we're going to get them better than Binance, better, better than Pancake Swap. And it's the fact that LitX is going to let us have our, our input in the decision making. Mm. And of course, it's the first branch of the Swifty tree. Lit X, major droplet unit you little utility. Mm, getting tongue tied today. And of course the referral system. I meant to put that in there. I'm gonna I need to <laughs> I gotta get it in the next one. We already know with Swifty, we're just waiting on information of when when the pool's gonna open. Same thing with Lit Estates. The Swifty pool for Lit Estates, like I said, once we get the information and I, we get the white paper, I'll break it down to the last compound, present it to the legends, and everybody can make the decision what they're going to do from that point on going forward. We already know. And we already know that once all of the other components are brought online, we'll have the ability to just earn our GDS, stake it, and earn BUSD. And we don't have to sell our GDS no more, especially when GDS is at eight and $900 a piece. Hmm. All right. We already know. Congrats again to the team for getting coin market cap. We're just waiting for that little bit of their confirmations to get done. All right. Let's go. Oh, you know what? Let me go do my part and support the community and support the protocol. Let me go get my L bonds. Let's go. Right now we are at droplet.money. So if you watched which hopefully you have Moonshot Max video. And he pretty much said that all of us needed to purchase $65 worth of droplet tokens, of excuse me, of lit tokens, which essentially is, so $65 divided by 72 is 90 tokens, 90 lit tokens. So I'm ready to get mine and put them into the L bond. Wanted to do it right here. You can see I'm still in there. Look at the date down here, 227. Yes, late in the afternoon. This is normally not my time that I'm doing it. So let's go here. Close. Oh, excuse all that noise in the back. And let's swap. Let's get some. I got some BUSD. And let's get some lit. All right. So I have eight there. So the max amount I can get right there is 91. So I'm going to go ahead and get those 91. I don't think I need no 13%. Let's put it at 5.5. All right. And swap. Get mine. Build my L bond. Right there. Proceed. Get my MetaMask on my ledger. Boom. Okay, let's go back to Droplet here. Let's go to the bond room. Okay, so we got 1400, so I'm gonna purchase. So I have 95 here, got 15 there. So let's go ahead and hit max and purchase. So I'm putting my brick in even though I already do the videos and everything. Oh, 23 cents, y'all come on with that. Let me do three. There we go, I'm gonna do that for now. Should be quick. And that takes care 
of the bond. I'll let that go through. Then this should change to 110 and we're good. Let's see, is it going? That was gonna take too long. Is pending. Ooh, internet slow. Even the little wave here <laughs> normally waves quicker than that or faster than that. Just trying to let it come up before we go back to the ledger. Any day now. I guess I'm gonna have to let it go ahead and do the 23 cent for the sake of the video. All right, so let me. Reset, confirm. Okay, so now let's go ahead and purchase it again. Max purchase. See, I guess when I'm on video, I do need to just reg use the regular. So let's go ahead and just use the standard five and pay the 23 cent. Now watch how fast it goes through. Boom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. So my bond has been purchased. All right. All the lit legends out there. Everybody got to do what you got to do. This is not no financial advice. I'm just doing my part to help get us back above peg. All right. Time to back to the ledger. Okay. Now we're back. As we can see, we're still in the red. Yeah. As long as the water bucket is closed, it's going to probably stay in the red because we only have the four pools to take the average of. And you saw how I bought the, the L bonds. So if you need to figure it out or you need it written down, here it is. First thing you do is go to Pancake Swap and purchase your, your lit tokens. Then here again, click the purchase button here. It'll pop up. You say how many of your lit tokens you want to use to purchase that bond. And then it'll pop up over here on the right in the redeem, even though we're not redeeming it, but it'll pop up here and tell you how much you have L bonds in your wallet. That's it. And again, when it's time to sell, you won't, don't want to sell them all in one shot, but it just depends on how many you get. If you get like Paris used the example of a thousand, you do want to do them in increments of 250 each epoch. However, if we only getting $65 worth of 90 L bonds at a time for each of us to, out of the 677 people that have wallets, then we can probably do them, you know, as we choose. But we don't want to do it too fast and we're over like a dollar and two cent and then we'll do it again and then we we'll go back to a dollar or 99 cent and we're right back under peg. And it's time for us to take action. It's gonna, it takes the one two punch to kick the balancer to get us back above peg. The L bond is what the community does. The buybacks is what the protocol does. It's going to take the two to get that balancer and the, the knee it in the balls and get us back above peg. These are the current stats. The TVL is $515,720. The lit token, 72 cent. The GDS token is at $57.14. L bond is 72 cent. The water bucket right now is totally irrelevant, except for if you want to go and check on the epoch. Other than that, until we get a back above peg for the water bucket to start printing again, it's nil. Mindset, we already know. Earn the lit, keep the lit. Earn GDS, take profit from the GDS. Taxes. These vanquishing to the vault count for the droplet protocol is still at 34,945, especially since we're under peg. The Liddy Bot, if you don't understand what the Liddy Bot does, please read here, pause for the cause, so you can have a complete understanding of what the Liddy Bot actually does. If you're new and this is the first time seeing the Lit Ledger and you're new to the protocol, please check out the Community Protocol series on Droplet. It's everything you need to know. What the mission is, what is the Droplet protocol, how it works, different strategies. Now, I know everybody feels lit, but how about looking lit? Get the lit wear, lit gear, the hats, sweatshirts, they have 
um, lit pads, lit lap sleeves. There's a sharper jacket. There's a hoodie. There's a patch you can put on your jacket. And of course, the hats. Lit ledger. Now, all of us here that are taking time to watch the video obviously are not part of the herd. The emotionless investors, we are. We did not follow the herd. We stepped back, took a look, <sighs> took a deep breath before we made a rash decision to come out. And what you have to do is ask yourself, did the fundamentals change at all? Did they decide, the team decide to go in a different direction than what we were told? Was there a smart contract breach? No. Was there an issue with the team? No. Was there any issue at all? No. Or if there was an issue, was it taken care of? Okay. Then from that point going forward, we do what we do. That's why we're standing here looking like, what happened to them people do? Let me see how the cows look. And that's why you got to remember, this is an individual endeavor. You always have to do what's best for you, your family, and your family's finances. You can't always follow the herd. And you know what Warren Buffett say, if the herd is going one way, you go the other way. But like I say, this is an individual endeavor. You do whatever you got to do for you. That's all that matters. And as always, please like, share, comment. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, stay lit, and definitely engage.